The World Test Championship has finished, so we've got to name the best 11. What's my 11? Well, let's find out on Hogs Vlog. Well, the World Test Match Championship final was played under, well, rainy conditions. And I'm going to do this vlog under extreme weather as well. The rain has come in. I'm not going to put the covers up. So, who's going to open the batting in my 11? Rohit Sharma out the top of the order. He made 400s and 250s. Yes, most of those were, runs were made in Indian conditions. Very rarely did you see him bat away uh, from home. So, very tough to put him in there, but the amount of runs that he uh, put on the board, I have to include him. He also did okay in the World Test Championship final under those tough conditions. Opening the batting with him is going to be Karana Ratna from Zim, uh, Sri Lanka. Didn't play too many top teams, but the 100 he made against South Africa at the Wanderers got him over the line ahead of David Warner. So well done to Karana Ratna from Sri Lanka. Number three, this was a tough one. Was it going to be Labashane from Australia, who made a mountain of runs, or was it going to be Williamson from New Zealand? I had to go for Williamson from New Zealand. He made over 100 runs. He only played to do that in the World Test Match Championship final. It was tough conditions, and he's got to captain the team. So Williamson comes in instead of Labashane. Coming in at number four is Steve Smith from Australia. He had a massive Ashes campaign in 2019 when the World Test Championship started off. Got uh, 300s, one of those a double 100, and then he continued to make runs over the following year or two. Coming in at number five, finding it very difficult uh, in this department. Babar Azam batted the majority of time at number four for Pakistan, a couple of times at number five where he did well, averaged 58 in that position. He averaged 68 all up, so I've got Babar Azam coming in at number five. He made 400s as well and a number of 50s. At number six, I've got to find an all-rounder. The best all-rounder that I could find was from England, Ben Stokes. He made a mountain of runs, but also took some important wickets at a good economy rate. And you need a fifth bowler in your playing 11 just to take the work uh, off the front line quick. So Ben Stokes is in there at number six. Coming in at number seven is a keeper. Well, there are a number of keepers that really performed throughout the uh, Test Championship uh, series. De Kock from South Africa was one. Rizwan from Pakistan did a fantastic job. But Pant, the way that he dominated Australia, down here on Australian soil, you could not leave him out. He made a number of 50s and a crucial winning innings out the, uh, the, in the final test out the Gava. And also he made a crucial 40 in the World Test Championship final to make sure India still kept their head above water before they bowled to New Zealand in that final inning. So Pant in there, or Pant should I say, in there at number seven, he's a game changer. Now, number eight, who's going to be the first bowler that I'm picking? It's Jamison. Look at that average. Look at the amount of wickets he took in a short period of time. He's a youngster that's just come on the scene. He can also bat, and he got a fifer in the World Test Championship. He was the difference in that game, so I could not leave Jamison out. He is going to be an absolute superstar. Number uh, nine is a spinner. It's got to be Ashwin, the best spinner in the world at the moment. He's got a lot of variety, bowls well under pressure, and also can handle the bat. Number 10, uh, who have I got there? It is Stuart Broad from England. He's got a mountain of wickets at a good strike rate and a very good average, and he's led the bowling attack for England, so I could not leave him out. And at number 11, one of the best bowlers in the world, someone that you always turn to when under pressure and need wickets, and to really bowl quality pressure deliveries over after over, ball after ball, it's Shami from uh, India. And he was standing, the pick of the, uh, or the second pick of the bowlers, in that World Test Championship final. He was sensational, he was quick. He doesn't leave that good length, he can move the ball both ways, and he's got a very good engine. Now, the 12th man, I have to uh, find a concussion replacement. I left Labashane out at number three. Remember that he was a, a concussion replacement for Steve Smith in that Ashes series. 
came out and his career turned around and he took, uh, he took the world by storm there. So Labashane comes in at number 12. And I'll tell you what, he can sit on the bench and wait for someone to get knocked out and have that toasted sandwich that he got told off for here out Queensland for Australia. Now, there are a couple of unlucky players in here. Um, there was Jinka Rahani for one, did really well in the middle order for India. But Hazelwood and Southie, two quicks that performed well in the World Test Championship uh, over the uh, two year period, they're also very lucky to uh, miss out as well. But that's my 11. I'm pretty sure that you guys have got different players that can fit in uh, this 11. Get your comments downstairs and uh, I'd like to see what you've got in store for me. All right, have a great day guys. And in a couple of days, I've got a vlog out with uh, the changes that need to be made for the next World Test Championship final. Thanks very much, guys, for joining me. Have a great day.